if the path operation that you're dealing with um, receives a path parameter, and on top of that, that path parameter deals with predefined values, we use our standard Python enum. So what are we doing here? We have a path operator that only can that can only take uh, predefined values. So in our in order to accommodate that, what we do is we create um, a Python enum class. But before that, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to import enum package, and from that I'm going to import this enum class, and then after that I'm going to create a new class which will hold all those uh, predefined values. Uh, and I'm going to import um, this str and enum. As you can see, this enum is coming from here. And this str is a Python built-in string class. Um, essentially, this, this class that I'm making is, is a child of, of these classes here, okay? So, why do why do I need this class? I need this class so that I can specify uh, predefined values. Okay, so by the way, I'm copying this example from the Fast API. Uh, this guy here, the Fast API tutorial, and if you go to path parameters here, and if you scroll down, the predefined values. That's the section. If, if you're not sure, if you're unclear, even after this video, uh, you can go over here to the predefined values part. And I'm just following that. I'm following that example, but I'm going to make some changes to that example for my own needs so that I can explain you guys better. Um, so yeah, so coming back to this class here. So in order to set predefined values, I need this class, okay? And I'm going to name this this. I'm going to create these class attributes here. Uh, rest net. Let's say this is rest net val. Val means it's a value, and then let's net equals net val. So yeah, so we have these three class attributes here. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new path operation here, just like this one here. But f dot get and Let's say this is going to be, oops, this is going to be um, forward slash models and then path parameter, obviously. So this can be model name. And as always, I'm going to create my async function. So this is going to be my async def let's name it get model um, and now model name this model name is by the way coming from this uh, this path parameter here and I'm gonna use the Python's type annotation and I'm gonna make this a type of this class okay so I have this class here that I just defined and I'm gonna use that class in my async def function here because what is that that's called type annotation so that's the type annotation. Now, this path parameter is 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 of type uh, this class. Okay. Now moving on. What I'm going to do is if model name equals um, let's say model name dot, and I'm going to explain what I'm doing here. Um, LXnet. Okay. Then after that, return something. So let's return uh, this uh, dictionary here with key and values. Let's say that key is model name and which is this model name. That's the path parameter value. And then one more element. Uh, let's say the message. So the message will be deep, deep learning for the win okay perfect so what's going on here before i proceed further so um i imported this thing here i imported the num class then i created a child class called model name this is the one that i'll be using in this example and these values by the way 
these three uh, values that you see for these class attributes, these will be in the drop down. Okay, these will be the predefined values that we will see in our API call. So LXNet well, rest, rest net well, um, Linet well, these will be all the drop down values. Okay, uh, ones on the right side here. And then what I did, I created a path operation function. So app.get, this will be the path forward slash models forward slash model name. And this is in the brackets, that means this is a path parameter, right? Um, then I defined the function here. It's an asynchronous function as always. Get model, that's the name of the function. Path parameter of type model name. This type is this class here. Um, and then what I'm doing here is if model name equals equals model name dot lxnet. So by the way, whenever I do something like this, I'm accessing the class attribute, right? So go into this class and go to this attribute. Now, what is the value of the attribute? This thing. So what this means is essentially this thing. LXNet, LXNet underscore well. So you can you can type that string out if you want here by replacing this, or you can just be more descriptive and, and have this guy there. Okay. So whenever you get this in the drop down, it's gonna go to this if condition and it's gonna turn this value here. Okay. Moving on. What I'm gonna do here now, I'm just gonna copy this. And I'm going to deal with the other one here. So let's make this LF model name equals equals. Let's go to the second one, which is ResNet. ResNet. And let's say model name. That looks good. And let's just say, I'm just going to copy this from that example. So for ResNet, let's say it means have some residuals. Okay. I'm going to copy that message. Paste that here. And then there's a one more condition, right? Because we have AlexNet, ResNet, and Linet. So the last one, you don't. If you want, you can you can create an else here, or you can just directly return it. Doesn't make much difference um, because it's it's self-explanatory that if it's not the other two values, it's the third value, right? Which is Linet. So model name that looks good, and then let's just copy this. Again, if you're wondering where I'm copying this from, this is uh, this is an example from the tutorial of Fast API in the path parameter section of predefined values. Okay, coming back to this um, again, if model name equals equals resnet model model name dot resnet, that means this this value is going to access. Um, then give me this thing. Okay send me uh, uh, this dictionary here and if none of those which is the third one that means it's Lynette give me or return this dictionary here so that's it now let's just save this and let's just save this I'm just gonna run this again so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my browser here to show you guys what I'm doing and there you have it. Just refresh it. So it takes our new changes. As you can see, we have, by the way, I'm gonna show you like two ways here. The first way is, uh, let's not even look at the docs first. Let's just go and follow this path, okay? Which path? Okay, let's go back. Gonna minimize this so you can see side by side. So let's go to this path here, okay? We already know this one here, which is just the, the home path. But now let's go to this path here, forward slash models on this guy, okay? So models, and let's just see what happens if I just do this. Nothing happens, okay? Because it needs a path parameter here, right? It's incomplete right now. Um, as I said earlier, these three values in the class that I defined are the values for that drop down okay so the first one is alexnet underscore val okay perfect so if i if i reach that path this is what i get and this was the message right deep learning for the win for alexnet so that's where we have it uh let's try the last one here lynette well right lynet underscore val perfect and that's the message we have here seen in all the images perfect so it's working here on this. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys like how you can access the same thing 
that we're looking in the docs, but how can you access that through uh, through this URL link here? So let's go to the docs. So go to the main directory and then forward slash docs. And we can test the same thing out here. As you can see, we have three available values as we defined in our class, LXNetVel, ResNetVel, and LinNetVel. Try it out. Let's put ResNetVel here. And what do you think is going to happen? What do you think we're going to get? As you can see, if the model names equals equals model name dot restnet, which is the restnet well, we will get the the value as model name and message will be have some residuals, right? This expected. Let's see what we get. We execute this. Uh, perfect. So the model name, as we can see, is restnet well. Messages have some residuals. So yeah. So that's how you can have uh, these uh, predefined dropdowns. So when I, when I was saying earlier the dropdowns, this is what, where the dropdowns come in, right? We have these fixed values and only these fixed values can be part of this URL path, right? When you go to the URL, forward slash models, forward slash model name, um, this path parameter can only take these three predefined values. So this is what the, the enum is all about. Um, the enum class from Python to accommodate the predefined values and that's pretty much it I know this was a long video but if you want to watch it again rewatch it uh, you can also go through the tutorial on the fast API documentation is pretty nice um, if you have any questions let me know